Hey guys, Michael Durr with Pro Speed Baseball. I'm back today with Clay Ballard from Top Speed Tennis. And today we're going to go over a very basic progression and learning how to catch a ball. You know, this is, you know, this is going to be for your younger guys who've never, who aren't just getting into baseball, learning how to catch, you know, learning how to do the basic stuff. Now I've done this a ton of times with younger kids. They, they, their parents bring them to me and they're like, you know, they're having a really hard time catching, you know, and actually just receiving a ball. So I'm going to take you through Clay's going to help me uh, go through the progression I go through with my students. And what I do, first of all, is I have them drop their glove completely, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to get very used to catching the ball just in general, okay? So what I have them do is I have them just use both of their hands and just catch the ball with both of their hands at the same time, okay? That way they get a sense of receiving the ball, okay? And then once they get really, once they get comfortable with that, I'll just say, okay, just put up your glove side hand. So Clay's right-handed, so he puts up his left hand, and then I have him just catch the ball with just their left hand. And I'll do this probably about 40, 50 times, or till, however long it takes for them to get used to catching the ball with their glove side hand. Okay, and you want to make sure that they're trying to receive the ball. That's a big one, making sure that they're going from out to in. So if they're have, if they're trying to, so go ahead, Clay, go ahead and like stab at one. If if they're going like that and they're trying to really go out and catch the ball, which is very common, I like to do this drill where I have them stick their hand straight out. So stick your hand straight out, and what I want them to do is I want them to bring their arm in as they're catching. It's very simple. So as you, as I throw the ball, bring your arm in as you're catching. Okay, so that they start getting used to receiving the ball okay now what we do is I the next one I do is I'll give them their glove and we'll back up just a little bit and we want to stay very light throwing you know we don't want to throw very hard if they're having trouble with catching we want to progressively work the speed up so we'll back up probably about 15 feet away okay and I'll still throw underhand you know so we can keep the speed off and we'll just we'll, we'll go back to two hands and we'll work on receiving okay so we're just very easily working on two hand receiving okay and then the same as we did with the glove off we're going to go just to one hand and we're going to have them hold their glove up okay and then what we want to do is we want to make sure that both of their hands are going to be facing out towards you a lot of times i'll see kids just kind of when i tell them to put their hands up they'll put them up like this or they'll just go like this and then try to catch them we want our hands in a ready position ready to catch okay so have both your hands pointing towards me so i should be able to see the inside of his glove Okay, and then we're just gonna work on receiving with one hand. Okay, very easy, light throws. Right here, one hand. Okay, and making sure that we're still receiving. Okay, if they're still stabbing at it, make sure that we go into the drill where you have your glove way out and that you are receiving. You're actually giving, having some give on the arm, okay? Now, once you work through those, go ahead and just start progressively working back further and further with the glove. And the further and further you are, they actually you're gonna have to throw it a little bit harder and a little bit harder. So if you're working in five, 10 foot increments and you're just backing up a little bit, little bit, and you're throwing easy, you'll actually be throwing a little bit harder and they'll be getting more and more used to catching. And before you know it, if you work in slow, you'll be able to throw it as hard as you want to your kid or with your playing partner, and, you'll, and they'll be catching it like it's nothing every day. Hey guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them below and I'll be sure to answer each and every one of those personally so we can help you guys through getting your, getting your kids or your players better. And uh, if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. And I got a bonus coming up for you. I'm gonna actually play a preview from one of the videos in uh, our pitching series. And if you click on the link that pops up in the preview, it's gonna take you to a place where you can see the whole pitching series. Go ahead and check that out, guys. Uh, good luck with your games and I'll see you guys soon. This is the plate. And what we're gonna do is you're gonna monitor this knee on what I call the spin out line. And that's gonna be about an inch outside of your back foot. It's gonna be a vertical line, about an inch right outside your back, and we don't want that knee to go past that line. So if I'm here, I'm in front of the line, as soon as it goes past that spin out line, is where we really start getting the tendency to spin out and lose that velocity. Now, what we're gonna